Hi, I've put together this little screencast uh, just to show you how easy it is to uh, do the install for the RHQ 4.9, the latest release, uh, which came out September 11th, 2013. So here we go. Um, I'm going to assume that we're starting from uh, that you already have the Postgres database set up and that you have a, you know, a user of, uh, with uh, RHQ admin and an RHQ an RHQ database with RHQ uh, admin as a user and RHQ admin as the password. Uh, if you don't, you know, you know, these are the commands to create that. And uh, the release, uh, as far as uh, downloading it, uh, here's the URL. Um, you'll see a page like this, and go ahead and do the, the download. That'll give you the, the zip retar file. Here was that URL that I was just on there. Um, I'm going to, I already have this downloaded uh, just to save time. So let's go ahead and unzip that. Again, I'm, already, I'm assuming that you already have Postgres installed and set up, um, but everything else we're we're doing from scratch. So this will set up the Cassandra database uh, inside uh, RHQ as well. Okay, let's go ahead and go into uh, RHQ 4.9, the bin directory, and in the bin directory, uh, we we'll see we have, uh, if I use uh, this command to encode password and uh, this gives us keys. Oops, that's not typed that in correctly. Encode password. Not encoded. Uh, so if this encrypts uh, my password, my secret password, uh, and uh, I would now take these and cut and paste these uh, into the properties file, uh, which is in the RHQ server dot properties, uh, which we're going to edit next. So again, there's three entries here. Um, all we need to do is take these three entries and paste them into the appropriate sections of the RHQ server properties. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, my favorite way to do this is, you know, just to search on the install sections uh, because we've got these demarcated by uh, install action required. Uh, so you can just kind of you know, jump around to these sections. So the first one uh, password would be uh, the, the uh, Postgres uh, database password section. Now I'm using the default, which is you know the RHQ user and RHQ admin. I mean, excuse me, RHQ admin as the user and RHQ admin as the uh, password. Um, so I can just leave this. Let's go to the next section. Uh, this is the server settings, and now we're looking for the, the RHQ server management password, which is right here. I'm again, I'm going to use a default because I'm using RHQ admin, so I can just uncomment the RHQ server management password here. Um, if you had a different password, you could uh, paste that password in, uh, like I just showed you for the other section. And the final one we have here is the uh, uh, JBoss bind address. So the bind address I'm going to bind to uh, all interfaces. Uh, if I had a particular uh, address, I could you know put that IP address in here as well. Uh, but I don't need to worry about that. So I'm just binding to all interfaces. And the last thing is, uh, because I already have a previous install here, um, I'm, I'm going to uh, overwrite my database. Uh, you don't have to do this if you don't have a previous install, but since I do, I'm going to set the overwrite property. Uh, if not, if you don't have a previous database, then uh, auto would be fine. Okay. And now we're ready to go. That's it. Uh, one file, you know, and anywhere in that that file is the RHQ server properties, and all we need to do was edit between two and four properties, uh, depending on uh, which.
which fields you needed, which fields you defaulted. Uh, now the only other thing we need to do now is um, run you know, rhqctl, which is our you know, Apache style uh, installer, which is new to uh, the 4.7 release, and just run install with that. And that's going to go ahead and set everything up. Oops, maybe here. Oh, okay. So I have a, a previous Cassandra install, um, which I set up in uh, our lib, which is the default. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. RHQ. So that removes my uh, previous uh, Cassandra database. Now let's rerun that command. Okay, and let's go ahead and um, uh, tail that as well. So we're, we're watching the in install results in the top window. Um, I'm going to go to the uh, server logs to make sure to see when things will actually start up. Logs directory, and let's uh, tail the server log. Right now, you can see it's setting up the Cassandra database for metrics, and that gives us lots of scalability on metrics. And in the bottom window, we are tailing the uh, server log, so we can see uh, RHQ being deployed to the server and then actually uh, starting up that, that year. We can see now that our ear is deployed. Now it's going to actually uh, start up that ear. Yeah, this is going to take a few minutes, so just uh, bear with me. This is the longest part of the install. It's just uh, you know, waiting for all this to, to come up, everything to get configured database and application-wise on the install. When this is all done, uh, we can rerun uh, the RHQ CTL command with the status, uh, and it will show us uh, which components are, are available. It's, it's not going to start the agent for us, so we'll need to start the agent uh, manually after we're done. Uh, but we can actually hit the server if you want to as well. Previous releases of the RHQ product used a, uh, a GUI installer, uh, which we went away in uh, 4, 4 7 release, and now we use the command line installer, which you can see is actually quite easy to use. So, Okay, we can see in the uh, window below here that the uh, RHQ uh, 4.9 uh, server has started. So let's run the status here, and we see that the storage node, which is a Cassandra database, is running. Um, our RHQ server is running, and uh, the RHQ agent is not running. So let's go ahead and start the agent manually. And we can see the agent connecting down below. Okay, let's run the status again. Uh, we see that everything is running, and now look to verify. Uh, let's actually go hit the screen and make sure web-wise that uh, everything's up. I'm going to clear the cache from previous. And 
What's this to log in? HQ admin. HQ admin. And you can see the, the default dashboard came up. Um, I actually like to kill this mashup because it uh, pulls in a lot of URLs from different sites, so it, it takes a little bit to come up. So you can increase your dashboard default performance there by just killing that guy. Uh, let's go ahead and see what's inside the discovery queue and we can go ahead and import our resources and we're good to go. You've just done an RHQ install and uh, and we've pulled in all the uh, local resources. So um, I hope this video was, uh, screencast was helpful to you. Thanks.